Uh, my children are fourth generation Olympians, just as long as we're all getting our credentials here. I've been here 10 years, and I love Olympia. I think this is the best city that I've ever been in. I think the potential of this city is off the charts. I see Olympia as a model for the rest of the country, and I think that what you're doing is shameful. I was reading, I've been thinking about this over the last couple weeks, the last week especially, I'm thinking about the children that are being sent to the woods and what that means. Um, I don't think it's the right decision, I think it's immoral, I think it's unethical. Um, I think it's being driven by the by certain members of the Downtown Business Association um, and not others. And to use the, the ODA as your excuse for passing this ordinance is seems to me like a bold-faced lie. You talk about the people that are sending you emails, we don't know who they are. You talk about the people that are not here represented in the room. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I was reading, you know, one of my one of my favorite short works of fish, fiction is Ursula Le Guin's The Ones Who Walk Away from Omelas. Mm -hmm. And it's about a child who's kept in a basement. And the utopian society that's Omelas is utopian because of that child, because of the torture of that child. And everybody knows it. And I feel like what you're doing is you're putting these children in the basement, you're torturing them so that you can have clean streets and so that the downtown businesses can profit, or so that you don't have to step over bodies when you get out of the Washington Center at 11 o'clock at night. Your priorities are messed up. <laughs>